Alright, let's get started here. Max here with the tutorial on Photoshop frame by frame animation. Uh, we're going to start with a new project. Let's get a preset film and video. Size, HDTV, 1080p, and everything else looks good. The 2997 is the frame per second, but we can change that later. Okay. Alright, now we have our window here. Let's get rid of the extras so we don't need title save for this. We're going to do some character animation. Um, we have a background layer. I'm just getting rid of that real quick. And um, let's make a new layer. We're going to go to layer, video layers, new blank video layer. And you can tell it's a new blank video layer because it's got the little film strip icon. We need our animation controls now. Let's go to window, animation. Alright, so we have a timeline. It's video layer, all ready to go. Let's change this now, like I was saying. There's a frame per second right there. We're going to drop this drop down for the window. Window controls, um, document settings, into duration, all that drama. Let's change this to a. 12 FPS comp. So now we have our 12 frame per second window down here. And uh, we're almost ready to go. We just need to bind frame forward and frame back. Frame forward, frame back. You can see down here. You don't want to be clicking those all the time. So we're going to go to edit. Keyboard shortcuts. Shortcuts for the palette menus. Animation timeline. Scroll down just a little bit, and you got next frame and previous frame. I've already bound them to F2 and F1, but you can put them on any key or your Wacom. Okay. I'm about ready to get started here. Um, I'm going to select your brush, and we can begin animating. I'll grab my Wacom. So, get started with some ball bounce stuff, right? Let's turn our back line layer on so we can see. Let's get this ball going. F2 for next frame. Let's turn onion skinning on so we can see where our last one was. We're going to head down here. Let's draw a little motion path. New frame. Or a new layer. This doesn't have to be animated, so we don't need a video layer. We can just hit a regular layer. I'm just going to sketch out how we want our ball to bounce. Boing. Boing. Oops. Pretty good, right? Splash here, splash here. Maybe we can bounce, 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 bounce. Dribble off to the edge, right? So I'm gonna turn the opacity on that down a little bit. And let's go back to our video layer. Next frame. So we're gonna go down here a little bit. In a circle. Down a little further, another circle, and we're going to impact. Another one, let's squash. Next one, let's stretch out of here. Hit the top, keep going. Yeah, that looks, looks pretty good. Turn the onions getting off. It's a pretty good ball bounce. All right, let's move along. If you want to bring in some uh, source footage to rotoscope in the background, you can do that pretty easily. You go layer, video layers, new video layer from file. And you can navigate to your source footage. I'm get this um, runner footage I found. Do a little walk cycle here. You press Control T to expand that. Converting is fine. No big deal. And stretch this out. Let's 
Let's try that again. All right. And I'm gonna trash this old, um, these other two layers. Turn the opacity down on this one a little bit, and let's get a new video layer. It's layer. Video layers, new blank video layer. I'll put him above that one. And as you can see here, a little guy walking. So, let me get a bigger brush, and I'm gonna go through and do his legs. Rocking this guy's little jog walk cycle. Nice to do the shorts, man. Alright, then we can do a new layer for his back leg. Turn the opacity down on this a little bit. Go back to the beginning. I'm frame advancing with my F2 key. And we're almost done. There we go. So let's play that back and see how it looks. Pretty accurate. I'm going to go ahead and turn that back layer off. Pretty good, right? A little walk cycle for you. Alright, so let's talk about exporting this stuff. You want to turn all your layers off and retain uh, the opacity of the alpha channel here. And you can just go to File, Export, Render Video, and you get a lot of options here. I recommend doing a PNG sequence, so you'd uh, navigate to your folder and you can get your subfolder. If you named them Untitled 1, it'll do you know, Untitled 1 to Untitled 1000 or whatever. Or 1001, 1004, etc. You guys should know about that if you used Maya before. So yeah, image sequence, PNG, um, alpha channel, it'll still work. There you go, document frame rate, everything we want. Um, Make sure you have currently selected frames on, or you'll be rendering the whole thing. And uh, you can hit render, and this goes pretty fast. Alright, so that's it for this tutorial. Let me know if you want to know anything more about uh, Photoshop frame-by-frame -frame animating and uh, the workflow from Photoshop to After Effects. Alright, see you all later.